Hi everyone and welcome to our afternoon webinar on merging images to Word templates. This is part of a new feature we're doing with webinars called Learn How to Conga in 15. So this is a 15 minute webinar. And we're calling this part one of merging images because part two will come along soon and that's going to be learning how to merge images to PowerPoint templates. So please keep your eyes peeled for that coming soon. I'm Shelley Houlihan, a senior product specialist here at Conga, and I will be leading you through today's webinar. I have about six years of experience here at Conga. I used to be on our customer success team, so I did customer support. So I like to think that makes me pretty qualified to tell you how to um, merge images today. And I also put up that I'm a chocolate chip cookie lover, just as a little fun fact. So today we're talking about merging images and I wanted to show you that a picture really is worth a thousand words. Um, pictures and images really can display much more than text can in a lot of ways. Um, there's a lot of beauty that can be imparted, emotion, and if nothing else just visual interest. Um, but there the images are also good for things like product images, um, signatures, logos, visual or process flows, and these are all the sorts of things that we can do with Conga Composer and merging images from Salesforce dynamically into today we'll be focusing on word templates. So whether you have a beautiful photo, an icon, a product image, whatever it is, we can easily merge those to your word template. We're going to do this in three simple steps. The first is storing the image. The second is building a field in Salesforce to house that image. And then finally creating what we call an image merge field in your Word template. And I'm going to go through each of these three steps in more detail, first in the PowerPoint and then we'll actually go to a live demo in Salesforce so you can see how to do this hands-on. So first off is storing the image. There are a couple of requirements. One is that the image is either a JPEG or a PNG. Um, and then secondly, that you store the sale or excuse me, store the image either in Salesforce or in a publicly available spot like a Google image. So I put up this little um, screenshot or image just to remind you it's a storage locker with your image inside. So that is storing the image, step one. The second thing you're going to do is build a field in Salesforce. And you might be saying, well, why do we need a field? We're just merging the image and it, we're either going to store it in Salesforce or have it publicly available like Google Images. But we need a place to store um, or sort of tell Conga Composer where that image lives. So it's, yes, it's stored in Salesforce or it's on Google or publicly available. Um, but Conga Composer is taking fields from Salesforce and merging um, the data values from those fields into templates. Again, today we're focusing on Word templates. So just like we merge text values or number values, currencies, you know, dates, all those sorts of data points from Salesforce, we're going to do the same thing with the image and that's why the image has to be sort of stored into a field after you do the initial storage. And I'm going to show you how to do this again. How we do that is taking the URL, basically the website of the image, and putting it into that field. I know this sounds probably a little bit confusing, but once you guys see it, it's really very simple. Um, the great thing about using a field is that it allows for what I call dynamic image merging. So that means that you could have many different records in Salesforce because they all have that field on them, you can put different images or photos into each different record. So think of Opportunity Products as a good example of this. You could have an engine product, a carburetor product, a steering wheel product, and you could have images of each of those different products. They're all going to use that same product photo field, but would have unique values stored in that field. So the um, example that I put up here is a signature URL and that's just a field that we have on the user record and that's the same example that I'm going to walk you through when we go through the live demo. So the third step is that you create the image merge field in your Word template. 
the image colon is a prefix on the beginning of the merge field name and that simply tells Conga Composer to render the image because remember you're going to have a URL value in the field in Salesforce so if we don't include the image prefix it's just going to show the URL value like it's just text but when you put that image prefix at the beginning then Composer knows, oh, this is actually an image or some sort of photo or icon or whatever it is, and I'm going to render the image itself. So I've just outlined the three steps um, with the screenshots or images below. First, we did the storage, and remember that's either in Salesforce or in a publicly available spot like Google in your little storage locker. Then you're going to build the field to house that image's URL somewhere in Salesforce. So there's our signature URL field. And then finally you build the image field on your Word template and it will render the image itself. So you can see that John Hancock signature is down below. So remember, this is just talking about Word templates today, but we are going to do PowerPoint templates in a later webinar. So do keep your eyes peeled for that. Okay, and then lastly, we are going to go into a live demo. I think that's the part that everybody's eager to see. So let's get out of this PowerPoint, and let me bring over a browser that I already have going. I'm just in a um, developer instance, so this is all dummy data. But what I wanted to show you guys is, first of all, the proposal document that we have here on the opportunity. So I'm just going to click my proposal button. And this is something that I want to add a signature image to, but I want to show you what it looks like before we go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to do preview on my proposal template so you guys can see kind of a baseline of what we're starting with. Let me maximize this. I'll give just a second for the screen to catch up. Okay, there we go. So you can see that we have all of the opportunity products listed in these tables here. But on the second page, there's a spot for authorized signature for training March 2015 BAs. This is actually the name of the org that I have. So that's why it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But the second one is authorized signature for Grand Hotels and Resorts Limited. That's the account that we're generating this proposal from. So what I want to do is take the running user signature. So whoever's logged into Salesforce and clicking that proposal button to generate this proposal document, I want their signature to show up in this box. And rather than having to sign it or echo sign it or docu sign it, I just want it to look like they've signed it. So I'm going to use an image of their signature. So usually when people do this, the easiest thing to do is have all of your reps or users who need this is sign a piece of paper, scan that in, and then upload those images. So again, this is what we're starting with, but now let's go to step one. And that's going to be storing the image either in Salesforce or Google and I'm going to show you how to do both. So let me close our dialog here. First, here's the one that's um, Google Images. So I just searched John Hancock signature in Google Images and ex as an example and I found one that I liked. What I would do is right click on this image to get this menu and then the value that you want is copy image URL. And what that does is copies the actual URL of the image rather than this Google address that you see here up top. So that is one way that you can store the image. The second way is to store it in Salesforce. And the easiest place to store it is under the Documents tab. So I'm already on the document. I've already uploaded my signature image. Um, it might sound a little bit counterintuitive to use the Salesforce Documents tab when you're using images, but really the Documents is just a, a place to store files of any kind. So you're simply going to create a new document record, um, upload your image. This is really good if you don't have a publicly available image, if it's something that's just stored somewhere on your um, local machine, your desktop, or whatever. And then make sure that you check this box that says it's an externally available image. If you don't have that checked, then what that means is somebody would have to be logged into Salesforce to be able to see the image. So that's an important uh, note. And then again, to get the URL of this image, you want to, just like we did with the Google one, right click on the image itself and do copy image URL just like you did before. 
What you don't want to do, again, is just get the URL that's out of the browser. This is the URL for the document, and we need the URL for the image itself, so that's an important distinction. You always want copy image URL. A good little check to make sure that you've copied the correct image URL, especially when you're in Salesforce, because I think that's the one that can be a little bit confusing, is if you copy the image URL and then in a brand new browser tab, a blank one, just paste that up here, do paste or paste and go, and if you're seeing nothing but the image, then you've done it correctly. If you're seeing this document screen again, then you accidentally grabbed the wrong one. You grabbed the URL for the document itself. So that is storing the image. One is stored in Salesforce. The easiest place is to do it on the documents. And the second way is to get some sort of publicly available image like Google Images. The second step that we want to go through is building that field in Salesforce to house the URL of the image. So let me show you my user record. Again, I've already built this field out because this is conga in 15. We've got to keep it moving. So you can see here's that signature URL field that I showed you all in the PowerPoint. Right now there's no uh, value in the field. So that's what we're going to do now. Let me show you a little bit of detail about the field. So here you can see where I've built the field. It has the name and so forth. I selected a long text area as the data type. You might be tempted to do a URL type of field, but we find it's easier just to do a long text area. Number one, there aren't any um, character limitations. Well, there are, but it's, it's so long, 32,000 some characters, that any URL you have should fit in there. And then secondly, you're not actually wanting to create a clickable URL for someone to be able to click from Salesforce and open a website like you do when you click on website field on the account. This is just a URL to be able to merge that image. So it makes it a little bit um, more clear, it's not as tempting for someone to click on that um, URL or website. So I have the storage and I have the field. So now I'm going to take the um, URL from my image stored on documents, again by right clicking and doing copy image URL. That's now on my computer's clipboard. And I'm just going to go back to my user record that's called Shelly Training, edit this, and paste that URL into the field that I'd created beforehand. So here it is, it's called signature URL. I've just pasted that value in. Let me stretch this out so you all can see it a little bit better. So it'll look long and ugly, it'll have this content.force.com and last mod and all of this stuff, but don't worry, when we merge it to Word, it's gonna look pretty as a picture. Pun intended. Um, so now we have a value in that field. And the last thing we're going to do is create the merge field on our Word document. So here's the template. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. This is where we wanted to put in that particular image field. So the easiest way to do this is to jump back to the opportunity where I had originally clicked my proposal button. I'm just going to refresh this page because I made a change to my user record with adding in that URL. Click proposal. And we need to get to the template builder, and I know you all are familiar with this because you've built many templates before by now. So tools and settings, template builder. And then once that loads, I find the easiest way to do this is just search by some part of the field name. So I'm just going to search URL, and then I know it's in the user data set. So here you go, user signature URL. So there's a different sort of photo URL that's a standard field that Salesforce uses. So just make sure that you're not calling yours photo URL. That could be confusing. Call it something like signature or image or actually I take that back. Do not call it image because that can be a little bit confusing when you build the field in Word and I'll show you what I mean. So signature URL I find is a good way to go or you could call it product URL if you're working with um, product photos and so forth. So all I've done is copied that um, field name to my clipboard, and then I'm going to go back to my Word template. Let me let the screen catch up here again. There we go. Okay, and then down at the bottom where we have authorized signature for the org name, I'm simply going to paste the field that I copied.
it brought over this what we call the field label that's why it says signature URL colon at the beginning I don't want that so I'm going to delete it so right now we have just the user signature URL field but remember if we merge it this way right now it's just going to merge in the plain old URL so the last step is just to punch in image colon at the beginning and let me save this to my desktop and we'll just do a quick merge here to show you all how this works so I'm going to click back on my template builder and then go to local template because I haven't yet uploaded that template to Salesforce I'll grab that proposal that I just saved changes to from my desktop and we'll just do another preview so one thing is that your image will come through just however you had up as far as sizing it will come through however you uploaded it into Salesforce so that John Hancock in typical John Hancock fashion is a little bit too large maybe We're, we don't have very much space for the customer signature on the right so there's one little trick that I want to show you before we wrap up and if I close this output file and I go back to my template where I have the merge field let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see better at the end of the field you can optionally include a height or width to dynamically resize the photo so I'm gonna try I've just added a colon and then I'm gonna do W equals let's try 200 this is number of pixels so sometimes it's just a little bit trial and error to figure out exactly how many pixels you need but this is really good if you want every image to be a standard size in your merged output file but you haven't uploaded them all in a standard size into Salesforce or if you're using publicly available images so you're just having composer resize the image for you so you can see I've severely shrunken down good old John Hancock's signature so that's a fun little addition you can do on the end is the resize well that's our conga in 15 um, if you all have any questions um, Teresa is our moderator today do we have time to take questions do you think Teresa or should we collect those online and then we can follow up with folks okay let's see what questions we have one up here will this work for content as well as documents in Salesforce great question um, it should work for content because content functions much the same way um, the big difference or kind of the key component that you want to look for when using content is that you can make that image publicly available so when you're uploading your image file um, just make sure that you can make that publicly available so if you have any questions about that or having trouble getting it to work with content give us a call on the support line or submit um, a request to support at congamerge.com and we can um, test that out with you but I find documents because it's it's almost a bit easier to use I think because it has less bells and whistles than content but certainly you should be able to get it to work in content as well great question and I don't see any other questions um, in the, the question pod so we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up I just want to thank you for attending today's webinar on merging images how to conga in 15 please remember to keep your eyes peeled for our upcoming merging images part 2 webinar that will be on PowerPoint templates and as always we have a wealth of resources at congasphere.com so check those out as well thanks and have a great day